Hello, Love52. How are you out there? Hey, this is Wednesday of week 30. This week, we're talking about codependency. You know, I said it from the very beginning. Part of the reason I want to do this Love52 stuff is to uncomplicate love. And one of the ways that we've complicated love is by calling codependent behavior loving. And chances are, if you struggle with codependency, or if you have struggled with codependency, chances are there were many times where you were doing things for people and you said you were loving them. And I'm not saying you necessarily weren't, but it wasn't 100%, was it? You had an agenda. You wanted to make sure that people still felt that they needed you or, or you wanted to continue to feel needed or you needed to feel important to other people. And so you would do for people. You know, sometimes you probably even took over responsibilities for people. People were going through a heartache or a hard time and your goal was to fix them, to make them feel better. Now, part of that maybe was so you didn't feel uncomfortable, but also part of it is, you know, maybe you were wanting to be the hero, to be their savior, to fix them and to fix their problems. You know, one thing that people who struggle with codependency don't realize is that if you take over other people's responsibilities for them, like if you step in and do things for people instead of maybe helping them do it or allowing them to accomplish and overcome things, if you step in and just do it for them, you're interfering with their opportunity to grow. We are, you know, if I step in and fix your problems for you, I'm interfering with your opportunity to grow as an individual to mature with managing emotions and life circumstances. I'm interfering with your ability to learn how to adjust. And I'm also interfering with your opportunity to be resilient. You know, sometimes with codependency, we just think we are overextending ourselves and we are the ones suffering and we are creating resentments and all that's true. But what we don't take into consideration is, is the is that when we think we're loving somebody by doing everything for them instead of helping them and letting them be resilient, we interfere with the process and the opportunity. So, look, this week, I'm just asking you, take a look. Are you, you know, are you doubting people's abilities to come through for themselves? Are you doubting their abilities to be resilient? And, you know, maybe because you doubt them and doubt their abilities, you think I'll just step in and love them when it might not really be loving that you're doing. Maybe you're just trying to control the situation, you know, trying to fix them, which is kind of, it's, you gotta be in control to fix people. You know, it's not really necessarily loving, is it? Yeah, there's some love involved. They're important to you but it's not genuine and authentic and and that's going to complicate love and you're going to have expectations whether you're aware of it or not you're going to place expectations on them so take a look maybe this week and see if, if codependency is one of those things that uh, you experience once in a while or that you struggle with sometimes maybe you'll want to read a book a self-help book about codependency Go to meetings. There's anonymous meetings out there. Maybe see a therapist. I don't like labels, but you'll figure it out. We will talk again. Keep spreading love. Keep loving yourself. Keep accepting the love others want to give you. And we'll continue on. Spread love. Bye-bye.